Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back inside of the hardcore Minecraft world. This is episode 19 and we're gonna be reaching day 400 in today's video so y'all better be excited. That just means that we are closer to day 500 where I'll finally be dropping the world download for you guys to see. And then you guys will be able to explore the world all of yourselves. Oh wait, honestly, I should turn this thing into like an egg farm. I can put some hoppers underneath these guys and then I should be able to collect up all those eggs that they are dropping. This place is coming together pretty nicely. We got our horses. Why are you chilling up there, bro? Get down, get down. Also today, um, we're going to try doing the target block thing. A lot of you guys have given me a lot of suggestions on how to do this with like trap doors. I'll, I'll look into it and then I'll, we'll try doing it this episode. But one of the big things I want to work on this episode is making a portal room. I want to make a portal room right around here. I'm thinking of digging this down because I want to make it relatively big because I kind of I built like a little prototype kind of thing in my creative world, just like my super flat world. And I kind of built like a small prototype. It's going to be like a circular kind of thing. I don't know. We're kind of just going to like dig all this down and then we'll just we'll just see where it goes from there. Another thing I want to also do today is do something on this side of the base. I have all this stuff flattened out. I'm thinking of making some little houses for villagers to chill at. I can have like an armor villager live in here near me and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, just a place for villagers to chill out. And eventually we could probably expand it into maybe like a little town. That would be cool. Also, I really like those mountains over there. We got to do something over there, like some cliff cliffside mansion, some something. I don't know. First things first, I want to go and grab some materials for this build. But also want to show you guys something I just did really quick. I added some hoppers underneath these chickens right here. And there's also a chest back here. Kind of subtle. You can't really see it that well. But we got our eggs in there. All good and ready for us whenever we will need them. So that's kind of cool. Alright, well now for plans about the nether portal kind of situation. I'm thinking of kind of dipping this thing down. Like probably having... Oh, I gotta I gotta move. I gotta fix this. Okay, I don't, I don't think this will interfere with it. But I'm gonna have like some blackstone or polished blackstone, I think. Kind of like along the edges. And there's gonna be like stairs that are gonna be leading down. And then there's just gonna be like this big circle thingy of a portal. I don't know. And I don't... I, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Not exactly sure. But I'm, it's probably gonna be this way. The circle's probably gonna be facing like right here. Alright, well, um, I think we need to get some blackstone now. Also, I'm gonna need some sea lanterns and also that red wood. The crimson, I think it's called? I I'm not exactly sure. Hold on, let's see if we have any blackstone right now, because I think I might have had some inside my nether chest. Ooh, rainbow wool farm. Gotta make sure I do one at the end of this episode so we can actually get this stuff done. Okay, right here, do we have any black- we have one. Bruh. One little piece of blackstone in there. And 13 right there. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to go and grab some blackstone in the nether. So I think we're gonna go do that right now. Oh, so I'm just like here chilling in the nether and I'm grabbing up some of this wood. And these piglins won't attack me now because I actually have a gold helmet on me. It's really low durability because I got it from like a zombie, but it's doing the trick. So this is actually so sick. I found a magma cube right here. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Also, there's a little bit of blackstone here, so I just gathered all that up. Okay, we're finally back home. Let's grab up this blackstone here. Uh, that one piece of blackstone right there. I think we're looking good. I hope I have enough materials to actually build this thing. And hopefully this doesn't look too bad. Because I'm going to be pretty much making the floor of this corner all blackstone to try to make it somewhat nether themed. But the portal itself is still going to be futuristic kind of themed. It's going to have like quartz and obsidian and all that kind of stuff to kind of match the vibe of our current base. Oh, and another cool thing that I was thinking of doing is actually making like a cool tower that just goes up from there. That, I don't know, if, if somehow I could do that, that would look really sick. If there was just like a huge tower chilling up there. And also, I will be making more beacons sometime soon, whenever I feel like it. Right now, I, I don't know, there's just too many things I want to do. But yeah, beacons are definitely something really good that I should be working toward. Because the more beacons, the more buffs we got. Yeah, well, I guess I just need to dig out like all of this floor, pretty much. Since this is going to be kind of like going down into the ground. See, I kind of just started clearing out this area and filling it up with blackstone. I kind of just guessed I was going to go down like four levels before I stopped. Yeah, it did take me a while to clear out all this stuff, but I did finish it eventually. So as you guys can see, I still have a lot of work to do. Like, I, I need a lot more of this blackstone stuff. I guess I didn't get enough. I got to clear out all this stuff too, and also I have to figure out what I should make for the walls. I still haven't really decided yet, but I'm going to do the flooring first. Guess it's time to go back to the nether and grab some more blackstone. Huh? <laughs> Alright guys, we are back, and I've gathered up a ton of blackstone, should be enough for the rest of the flooring, and also some basalt. I don't know if we're ever gonna need that, but basalt could be kinda cool in builds in the future. <laughs> I guess it's time to go back and fill out the rest of the flooring. I just wanna get to building this thing, honestly, I, I, I just want it to be done already. 
This is taking too long. Oh, come on, that still was not enough Blackstone. You gotta be kidding me. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, finally making progress on this, like, nether area. And my original idea did not fit. I needed 12 blocks of height, like, all around, and it just wasn't enough height. So I just kind of made up a new idea just on the spot. This is kind of what I have so far. I think it's coming out alright so far, and then maybe to like change up the floor a little bit, we can add some like, I don't know, lava pools if that would look good. Not really sure, but the floor kind of bland, you know, it's just all one block. We're, we'll figure that out. And then on the sides, I did, um, they are basalt blocks, but I don't know exactly what they're called. Yeah, I don't know what to do on the back either. I'll, I'll figure something out. But yeah, this is kind of what we got so far. Oh yeah, and I also want to go trade with those piglins because I needed some crying obsidian for this build. Oh, I am feeling great. My inventory is finally all cleaned up. I got a fresh stack of arrows. It was so messy while I was in the process of making this thing, but this is kind of what I got. It's time to light it up and let's see where it takes us. I might have to somehow like figure out how to disable that connection over there and then like change it to this one. I don't really know how these work, but we'll see. We'll see where this brings us, but this was looking pretty cool. My original idea was actually like, it looked a lot cooler, but um, I can't really do like a circular thing because I had to make it facing like facing diagonally because my uh, design was originally like facing straight, so that wouldn't really have worked. All right, let's see where this takes us. Let's go inside. Wait, I think, is this the same spot? Yes, this is the same spot. That's great. Now, if I go back, I think it, it might bring us to the old one. Okay, all I have to do is just break this, I think. If I can just break this, it should be good. There we go. I'll just break that portal. And now we should have the portal in our base linked up to the one inside the nether. That is looking pretty dope. I'm pretty happy with the final result. Okay, so there were um, zombie pigmen actually traveling in like this portal and going into my bases. So I think I'm just going to build like a little house to fix that with like a door or something. And then I'll have like a chest, I don't know, just a little area in the nether at my portal. So then pigments can't go into the overworld. Because like I was just chilling and they were just roaming around and I was just like, I, I can't have you guys here. Okay, I'm going to actually try this target thing, except I'm going to be straight up and see if I can hit this. So we are... One, two, three blocks high, four, five, six, 29, 30, 31. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do 31 just in case. Now we just have to aim down there and hit the bullseye. See if we can do this. Oh, that one was so close. Come on, I got this. You're telling me that I have not hit any of those yet. How? Look, look at that, dude. I, I feel like I've hit like everything at this point. All right, no more of that hard stuff. We're gonna just be doing it this way. Using the trap door and the redstone thing. I've seen some comments below telling me how to do that. And I wanted to do this as a last resort, but I've been trying to hit the bullseye from 30 meters legitimately way too long. And it's just like not possible, bro, for real. So we are gonna be trying this out. All right, that should be enough. There's like a lot of arrows in there. Now I just gotta go all the way over here. I got my redstone thing set up. Place down the button and then it should work. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, let's go. We actually got it now. Finally, bullseye. The achievement is completed. Ow, that hurts. I need to patch up this hole. I've fallen in this hole six billion times. Okay, well, next up on my list, I think we should start working on, like, a little house on this side. Because right now, this side of the path is kind of blank. But I kind of started out, like, a little, oh, a little, like, template about where the thing should be. Like, this is kind of how big it's going to be. Might be a bit smaller, actually. This is kind of big now that I'm thinking about it. But I'm thinking of making, like, a windmill over here. I, I think that would look kind of cool facing this way. Some crops and, like, a farmer could be chilling in here. That would be kind of sick. And then I could, like, extend the path this way more. And then there could be more stuff over here. I don't know, just an idea. But I'm going to get work into it. And, yeah, there's going to be a time lapse. I know you guys all love the time lapses. So yeah, enjoy. I was actually out of spruce wood when making this thing, because I found out that I like ran out of trap doors in the middle, and I needed more trap doors to kind of make the whole thing symmetrical so it would like, actually work all the way around. Yeah, gathering wood was, it was not fun.
Oh my goodness, I am finally done with this build. I've literally taken so long on this thing. I even moved over our little farmer villager over here so he can live in this house. Hopefully he won't die from any zombies. Uh, he probably will. We, we already know what's going to happen. Right, Mr. Villager? Uh, he's gone. He can go chill at the stables. But yeah, um, this this thing took so long to build. I had to look up like a tutorial on how to build this like shape because I did not... I, I had like... I was struggling on this shape part. But on the interior, we got his like little area we got the composters for like his uh workstation chests to put food in but we don't have any food right now and we got a little table with some bread on it as we walk on upstairs it's, there's really nothing on this floor it's just like a little balcony thing you can like look out up on top of here absolutely nothing and nothing up there but that's that's pretty much it for this house i'm gonna be decorating like the surrounding part here a lot more Try to make it look more nice, you know, it's just really weird right now. Plus, I need, I, put, I need to put some flowers up here. There's no flowers up there yet. And in the back, there's just another, like, table, barrels, just some random stuff. So, yeah, just need to put in some more flowers, decorate some of the ground, and this should start looking pretty good. But, yeah, I definitely plan on adding more houses here, because I really do like the look of this. I'm kind of going for, like, a medieval type kind of thing, a medieval theme here. And right next to it, we kind of have our futuristic base. But this base is going to be kind of like the division of the futuristic stuff. Wow, that actually looks kind of cool down there. Yeah, so, like, on this side, we'll have, like, futuristic kind of builds, all that kind of stuff. It'll be great. Yeah, the sun is setting. Well, there's only one more section left of our base. What should we turn this into? I still don't really know, because, like... What else do we really need inside our base? Like, we have sto storage is kind of the number one thing. We have storage, we got a little sleeping situation in our brown bed over there. But right now, it's kind of just a little bland, you know, just, just that. But it's okay. Maybe some lighting, too. It does get really dark in this corner. Bruh. What, what did I say earlier? I've fallen this hole way too much. I need to patch that up. Don't really know what else to do tonight. Time to go to bed. Wait, let's check on the villager. Is he sleeping here? Oh, he Why is. Why are you bullying me? He do be sleeping, though. All right. They, yeah, this place is honestly just infested with zombies. Hopefully, when I build more stuff, there will be more lighting around so less mobs should spawn. Day 397. I think you guys already know what I want to do today. If you guys guessed build another color of the sheep farm, you were right. Wait, let's see if I can do like a transition again. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. So I'm just going to stay in here. You can see my current sheep farm and... Boom. Last time it looked kind of cool. Hopefully it looked good again. Not really sure. But yeah, now we got our magenta dyed sheep right over here. It's chilling here. We already got five magenta wool. Looking pretty nice. It's working well. Oh, and there's one thing that I saw over here. I forgot about this animal farm. And like, I've been noticing that there's not many animals around. And maybe it has something to do with this because like the mob cap. I don't know, something about that. So I'm just gonna kill these guys since I don't even use them anymore. All right, there we go, all cleaned up. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff from that. Hopefully more mobs will start spawning around here. The rest of day 398 was spent in the forest looking for another wolf because a wolf I realized was something easily I could probably find to go breed. I didn't find a wolf until day 399, but I actually got him tamed with only one bone, which was pretty sick. So I brought him home with me. He's actually on the roof right now. Oh, he just teleported. What color uh, thing should we give him? Let's see. Well, I'll give him a purple collar. This guy has a green collar. I'll give this guy a purple collar or a magenta collar. All right, come here, buddy. There we go. We got you a magenta collar, and I think I can breed you guys with, like, steak or something. So let's see if we got any in here. There we go. One to you, one to you. Oh, they were sitting. That's why. Okay. Hey, let's go. We got ourselves a little wolf. So I'll let this guy sit. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. This guy's my actual pet. I'm going to bring both of you guys over to the pen. All right, hopefully they follow me over here. Let's put you guys, uh, those are all full. Let's put you guys in here. I should probably make these guys have better living conditions, honestly. Because, like, I don't know, I kind of feel bad for these animals. I'll have you guys, I'll let you guys, actually, I can't let them roam free. Because since they're tamed, they're just going to teleport me to me. So I have to make them sit down, actually. All right, um, I, I probably shouldn't, yeah, I, I definitely need to make them have a better living condition. Look at those guys. Are you serious? This is torture. Okay, well, you know what? Since it's day 399 and it's nighttime, I think it's time to go to bed because I really want to get to day 400. Well, guys, it is day 400. 
Never thought I'd really make it this far in hardcore. I was expecting to die a lot earlier, but we've made it this far. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys for sticking along with me in this series. Hopefully it doesn't end anytime soon. We're going to keep on going and trying to expand as much as ever. Just a little heads up, stay tuned for day 500 when we finally reach that goal, probably in like a month or so. I'm going to be dropping the world download for this world, and I'm also going to be doing a world tour with like kind of a cinematic kind of video slash edit of this world. It'll look pretty cool, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm really liking this like windmill thing. Probably one of the highlights of this video. Either that or that place down there. That place looks sick too. I wonder what the thumbnail of this video is going to be. The thumbnail is probably either going to be the windmill or the thing down there. Well, you guys already know because you guys have already seen the video, of course. All right, and we got our farmer down here. And as a little reward for staying around to the very end of the video, you guys get a chance to have your very own name on this villager. So pretty much just comment down some ideas for what I should name this guy. And I'll name this dude something. And hopefully he doesn't die. I'll try to protect him as much as I can. So yeah, drop some comments down below for what this guy's name should be. Every 100 days except the 200 day mark. I didn't do it for 200 days for some reason. I'm kind of dumb. We made a cake, so I think we have to make a cake for day 400. So we've got, this is our day 100 cake. That's our day 300 cake. And we got to make one for 400. So I got to go get those ingredients. I always forget this, but I'm pretty sure we need milk, eggs, sugar, wheat, something like that. Oh shoot, I should probably tame more of these cows because I just realized that I won't be able to milk that many people since I only got two cows in here. So I'm going to tame you guys. I'm going to milk you two, and then I got to go find a cow in the wild to go milk. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, bet. Milk you. Now we got three buckets of milk. I think we have enough stuff to go back and make this cake. Oh, I already know we got to craft it up here. Wait, what's in this? Oh, just awkward potions. Okay, never mind. I thought we had something cool in there. We got the cake. There we go. Where should we place this one? Let's place it up here. And we are a little bit hungry, so this is actually perfect. Day 400 cake, there we go. Eating you up, pretty sick. Yeah, we've done so much in 400 days in this world. I'm honestly super proud of myself, not even gonna lie, for doing this. I didn't expect it at first. But you guys got to see the journey of me becoming a better Minecraft player, because I definitely learned a lot about Minecraft from this series. Before, I didn't really know much about this game. I mean, I have been playing for a really long time, but I was never really serious, and I never really did anything good or anything cool. But this series kind of made me do cool stuff like that and just build some cooler buildings and just kind of expand my creativity a little more and imagination. I don't know. This kind of sounds stupid. All right. Well, I think that leaves us with the common shout out of today's video and it goes to Bruh Bruh. Congratulations to Bruh Bruh for winning the episode 19 comment shout out. I'm going to put you right here. There we go. You got your very own sign in the world. Looking pretty dope. I think we should only do like two layers of this, so there's only going to be room for one, two, three, four, five more. And then I'm going to start doing them in a different location. Maybe somewhere near our newer like area over here. But yeah, this world is coming together super nicely. I'm super excited to see what chapter five has in store for us. And I'm also super hyped to see if we can make it to 500 days in hardcore Minecraft. Well, the sun is slowly setting, guys, and it's about to hit day 501, so I got to do this quick. Time for the outro of this video. Remember to leave a comment down for the villager's name. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.